Hello guys, it's me, Sir Dan Apostol. So in this video, ituturo ko sa inyo on how to do frame factorization using factor 3. So before that, kailangan muna natin malaman to kasi gagamitin natin to when it comes uh, to prime factorization using factor 3. So prime numbers. Ano ba yung prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that has only two factors. So, ano yung factors na yun? One at yung sarili niya. So, ito yung example natin. We have 2, 5, 7, 11, 17, and 23. So, these are prime numbers. So, bakit sila tinawag na prime numbers? Kasi kung ipa-factor natin yung 2, ang factors na makukuha natin ay 2 and 1. 2 times 1, that is 2. The same with 5. 5 times 1. So, wala ng other factors. 5 lang at saka 1. The same with 7. 7 at 1 lang. 11. 11 at 1 rin. 17. 17 and 1. 23. That is 23 times 1. So, ito yung tinatawag nating prime numbers. So, when it, when it comes to prime factorization, kailangan makuha natin yung mga prime factors or yung prime numbers na factor ng isang number. So let's have this example. Okay, so example number 1, we have 20. So para makuha yung prime factors niyan, ang first na gagawin natin is mag-iisip tayo or maghahanap tayo ng numbers na dalawang number na pag minultiply natin ay magiging 20. So pwede natin gamitin ay 2 times 10 or 4 times 5. So, gamitin natin yung 4 times 5 para mas madali. So, 20, that is yung factors niya ay 4 times 5. Then, next step is, tignan natin yung dalawang factors kung sila ba ay prime number na or prime factor na. Yung 4 ba? Ang factors na lang ba niya ay 4 and 1? So, hindi pa. So, meron pa siyang other factor. So, ipa-factor pa natin siya. So, that is, ang factor ng 4, dalawang number na pag minultiply natin ay 4, that is 2 times 2. So, we have 2 times 2. So, yung 2, yan ba ay prime number na? Yes, kasi ang factor na lang, ang factors na lang ay 2 and 1. So, pag prime factor na, bilugan natin para ma-identify natin na yan ay prime factor na. Okay? So, yung dalawang 2 ay prime factor na. Then, how about 5? Yung 5 ba ay prime factor na or prime number na? Yes, kasi ang, ang 5, ang factors na lang niya ay 5 and 1. So, therefore, that is a prime factor. So, kunin natin yung mga may bilog, yan yung prime factors ng 20. Therefore, yung prime factors ng 20 ay 2 times 2 times 5. Pag minultiply natin yan, 2 times 2, that is 4, times 5, that is 20. Okay? So next, we have number 2, 81. So the same process, dalawang numbers na pag minultiply natin ay 81. So we have 9 times 9. So... Ang factor niyan ay 9. Factors niya ay 9 times 9. Okay? Next is to identify if yung factors ay prime factor na. Yung 9 ba ay wala ng ibang factors aside from 9 and 1? So, meron pa. Therefore, i-factor pa rin natin siya. So, ang factor ng 9... Dalawang numbers na pag minultiply natin ay 9. That is 3 times 3. So, yung 3, yan ba ay prime factor na? Yes. Kasi ang factor na lang niya ay 3 times 1. So, bilugan natin. Dahil yan ay prime factors na. Next is yung 9. So, the same lang. That is 3 times 3. So, magiging factors natin yan ay... 3 times 3 then therefore 
Yan ay prime factors na. So, yung 3 bilogan natin, bilogan natin. So, yung may bilog, yan yung prime factors of 81. So, therefore, ang prime factors ng 81, so 81, yung prime factors niya, we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3, 9, times 3, 27, times 3, that is 81. X number 3, 100. So, dalawang numbers na pag multiply natin ay 100. So, we have 10 times 10. So, factors ng 100 ay 10 times 10. Okay? Yung 10, meron pang factors. Aside from 10 and 1. So, kailangan pa natin siya i-factor para makuha natin yung prime factors. So, ang factor pa ng 10, uh, factors pa ng 10 ay 5 times 2. Then, the same also this one. 5 times 2. So, pag minultiply natin, eh, pag kinuha natin yan, yung 5 ay wala ng factors aside from 5 and 1. So, therefore, yan ay one of the prime factors. The same with 2, wala na rin yung ibang factors aside from 2 and 1, pati yung 5 and 2. Therefore, ang prime factors ng 100, so, i-arrange natin from least to greatest. So, we have 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 so we have 2 times 2 4 times 5 20 times 5 100 so makukuha pa rin natin yung original number so example number 4 we have 125 so uh, dalawang numbers na pag minultiply natin ay 125 ayun yung factors nya so we have 25 so 25 times 5 again identify natin yung mga factors kung prime factors na yung 25 meron pa siyang other factors aside from 25 and 1 so i-factor pa natin so that is uh, 25, yung factors ng 25 ay 5 times 5. So, yung 5 ay prime number na. Therefore, yan ay prime factors na. So, bilugan natin. Okay. So, therefore, ang prime factors ng 125 ay 5 times 5 times 5. So, 5 times 5, 25 times 5, that is 125. Okay? So, next, number 5, we have 300. So, dalawang numbers na pag multiply natin ay 300. So, that is 30. So, 30 times 10. So, yung 30, meron pang factors. I-factor natin. So, that is 6 times 5 Then also yung 10 Meron pang factors So that is 5 times 2 Then next yung 6 Dito sa 30 Sa factors ng 30 Yung 6 meron pang factors yan So that is 3 times 2 Yung 5 That is already a prime factor Kasi prime number na siya Again, yung to rin, prime number na. So, wala na tayong uh, ipa-factor pa dito kasi lahat na to ay prime number na. So, that, uh, so ito yung mga prime factors. So, we have 3, 2, 5, 5, and 2. So, lahat ng nasa baba na prime number. Ayan yung mga prime factors. So, therefore, ang prime factors ng 300... So, i-arrange natin from least to greatest. So, we have 2. So, 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. So, ito yung mga prime factors of 300. So, 2 times 2, that is 4. Times 3, that is 12. 
times 5, that is 60, and times 5, that is 300. So, I hope nakatulong tong video natin for you to understand and matutunan natin on how to find the prime factors of the given number. Thank you for watching and see you on our next upload. God bless everyone.